Watching the films of Gaspar Noé, you'll find many common themes running throughout his movies. Whether it be copious amounts of violence, drugs, and sex, fast-paced camera movements and stories, or depictions of controversial subject matter, it's undeniable there is a certain energy in these movies that make them feel as alive as they do. I was a bit surprised to hear his newest film was going to be about an elderly couple living out their last days in an apartment, but I was curious to see how he would approach this type of story, and personally, I think he nailed it. For a director known for being experimental in his filmmaking style, this stays consistent with what he's known for. The film is presented entirely in split screen, constantly blinking through two perspectives. The film opens with the main couple, dubbed only the mother and the father, waking up in bed. She wakes up and looks around, and something is clearly wrong right away. She looks around confused, unable to recognize where she is, and at that moment, the screen splits in two. There is some criticism of art films that their artistic choices have nothing to do with the story, but here the split screen definitely does. The difference in perspectives, even of the exact same moment, when they share both halves of the screen together, shows that fundamentally both of these characters who are beginning to approach their impending deaths are experiencing it alone. But they don't experience those deaths until we get treated to almost two hours of their day-to-day -day lives, and it is a depressingly realistic look at old age and dementia. First of all, Gaspar doesn't like to cut away when someone does something, so when the father is typing on his typewriter, it's almost unbearable to watch how slow he is. But the reality is that those of us lucky enough to live that old are going to be like that, and that it just kind of sucks. Secondly, the mother is slowly developing a worsening case of dementia, and it's hard to watch her go through this. Francois Lebrun gives probably one of the best performances I've ever seen. She expresses confusion and fear in the ways her eyes dart around the room, and it's just difficult for her son to watch her not recognize him anymore. She goes from doing something simple to being completely lost in a matter of seconds, and it never gets any easier to watch, and the movie could not have worked if this performance was not as good as it was. Despite both of those things though, you can feel a certain sense of care and affection between the mother, the father, and the son that gives them a sense of a real family going through their own struggles. For the majority of the film, the split screen stays consistently changing, completely between two different perspectives, from father to mother to son, until finally the father passes away from heart problems, and his screen slowly fades to white. We're briefly shown his dead body, but after that half the screen fades and stays black, signifying the total end of the experience. For a film about death, it is pretty absent from any talk about religion or an afterlife. The film presents a real sense of finality with death that isn't bad or hopeless hopeful, just simply acknowledging the end. And for as much fear the characters experience in the movie, it doesn't really feel like it's ever directed directly at dying. More so just different aspects of old age, something that makes this movie even more terrifying. But the film ultimately does conclude on this message of the finality of death. Shortly after the mother dies and we're shown her body, we cut to her funeral. The son gives a speech about the difficulties of their final days and how he never thought his mother and his roles would be switched. As the ashes are being laid to rest, the grandson asks, is this grandma's new home? The son looks at him and says, no, homes are for the living. Since the credits played in the beginning, the screen cuts to black and the lights immediately come on. For someone who knows how to deliver those gut punch endings, I think this was a really poignant and effective way to end the story. It definitely deserves a rewatch, and I hope I can pick up a personal copy of this film sometime soon. What did you think of the movie, and how would you rank it compared to Gaspar's other films? Let me know in the comments down below, and hope to see you next time. Peace.